praise the lord welcome again to another video thank you for liking sharing and subscribing please subscribe subscribe some more and please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when the next video comes out now today i am talking to you about witchcraft the Bible says my people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. There are so many people right now who are engaging in witchcraft and they don't even know the dangers of witchcraft. And there are many people who think witchcraft is cool. Many years ago, witchcraft was used to place harm on people, but now these days, witchcraft is taken as fun by many people and they don't, they don't see it as anything evil. They don't really practice it to hurt others. I mean, some people, they don't practice it to hurt others, but the very fact that they want to know how it works and they study it is dangerous and they do not know that. And one of the main reasons why they don't even know that is because they have no knowledge of God and who he is. And so that is why so many people are lost and deep in witchcraft and possessed by evil spirits. And they don't even know it. They don't know. There are some who know, but they don't know how to get out of it. But later on in this video i will go into that and let you know how you can be free from witchcraft spirits if that is your story amen now there are so many different types of uh witchcraft and different ways that you can uh give witchcraft access in your life there's uh there are games that you can play like there's this Ouija board, Ouija game, Ouija board. That's a very common one. There's this game called Okie Doki. Of course, you know of all the, 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 the scary movies that you can watch and those can be portals to invite witchcraft spirits into your life. So those are things, there are some people too, you know, because they love, crystals and charms and those things those things can invite witchcraft spirits into your life now i'm gonna um no 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 that is the spirits themselves entering your life are you doing you know those things and not thinking that not thinking that 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 those things could happen to you you letting evil spirits come into your lives there are people who love going to herbalists not knowing that just the practice of uh it there is nothing godly about herbalists traditionally the herbalist was never someone who 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 did anything according to to god the herbal practices are not something that the lord wants us to follow i'm not saying there's anything bad with the herbs but traditionally herbalists are people whereby you are caused to, you, you rely on the herbs for the healing instead of on God. You put your trust in the herbalist and the herb instead of in the Lord. And later on, I'm going, I'm going to show you, you might disagree right now, but the more you, the, the earlier you know, the better for you because Putting your trust in herbalists and relying on herbs for your healing is wrong. And it, the Bible tells you as well. The Lord tells you. The Lord doesn't want you to rely on any type of herbalist or physician for your healing. There are in many countries, many herbalists practice witchcraft. Now, I know of herbalists who do not practice witchcraft per se but what their their practice is not based on god you may hear them say the most high but they're not people who uh, when you go to them they're giving you medication or herbs 
you know, under the auspices of the Lord, you know, we under the directions of the Lord. That's not what they do. So the Lord doesn't want you to have that reliance on herbalists for your healing because he is the healer. He doesn't want you to rely on the things that he created. He wants you to rely on him in all things. Amen. And later on, I'm going to go into, uh, actually right now, Revelations 22. There are a lot of people speak of that scripture where they say, Herb is the healing of the nation. The scripture said, uh, I'm actually going to read it. Revelations chapter 22. And that scripture, I'm go just going to start from verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its streets and on either side of the river was the tree of life which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Now when you are carnally minded, that is where you will interpret the Bible wrong. A lot of people have never read this scripture themselves. So they hear it being said, they heard Bob Marley say it, or they heard the Rasta man say it, and everybody hears it. The herb is for the healing of the nation. Well, this scripture by John the Revelator, this was a vision that John had. This was the Lord showing John a vision. Now, I have a video coming up where all of this will be explained, but it, I can just tell you that the tree were uh, the, the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. The Bible was not speaking about herbs or any form of medicine in that sort of way. I promise you within the next two days that video is coming about coming up and it's going I'm going to explain that scripture. I don't want to spend a lot of time on that because there is so much more for me to go into regarding this witchcraft. So you have people, you know, the tarot card reading and all the games and the movies, even so many, uh, you can become possessed by witchcraft spirits as well through the music industry right now. There is so much going on in the music industry, the type of music, the people that you're following in Hollywood, the, oh, it is satanic in so many ways and they're, they are engaging in witchcraft and you can become possessed by following these people. Now I'm going to go back a little to in the, in, uh, the relying on the herbs just for a second here. In Second Chronicles, that was a scripture that showed us clearly that the Lord doesn't want us to rely on any form of uh, herbs or going to physicians. To rely on them for our healing when King Asa was sick something was wrong with his foot I just say rotten foot the Bible didn't say rotten foot but it was his feet that was you know it that was where the sickness was and he kept going to the physicians and the Bible says he sought fit help from the physicians instead of seeking help from the Lord and he died and that is there to tell us that that is not who we should rely on whenever we are sick whatever we cannot put that great that deep reliance on those people because god is the ultimate healer amen now palm reading palm reading is a form of witchcraft you cannot you should no one should be Yes, the devil gives people powers where they can do it. But if you are engaging in palm reading or if you visit palm readers, you are taking part in witchcraft. And as I said, engaging in these acts or visiting these people, it causes witchcraft spirits to follow you. And so you go to these people to find out your destiny, what's going to happen in your life. 
and before you know it all sort of things are happening to you and you're you don't realize that this is where this is where it came from because all those people work for the devil nothing that they do is from god yoga practices yoga practices can can cause witchcraft spirits to enter your life any form of deep meditation that is not you're not meditating on god you're meditating on uh, the universe and the limitless universe and you can control the universe and you can your mind can call you can let your mind do things i'm not saying that you can't but the way in which uh that is being done through yoga practices it's witchcraft it is a form of witchcraft necromancy again you you're no one is you're not supposed to be speaking to the dead all of these the bible mentions them you know clear i don't i don't remember i don't recall seeing yoga in the bible it was a new thing but yes necromancy is there you're not supposed to be calling up the dead and in the book of ezekiel the bible tells you that you know the lord is going to pour out his wrath on people who engage in these practices he is it is detestable in his sight but he's merciful and forgiving whereby if you repent of these things then he will forgive you but so many cannot repent because they have no knowledge of god they know they don't know god they don't see witchcraft as evil they love it it's fun and and and, and so it's just it is just sad some countries they have santeria spanish people cuba i think that's where the santeria is is from there the hindu people practice hindu magic you know these things are just even in the catholic church even in the catholic church santeria is associated with catholicism so catholicism so yes even in the in the in in the catholic church the jewish people the jewish people even they practice witchcraft this is amazing the things that are going on in the world and yet so many of these people call on god the same god the most high god who created this world they call on on him but at the same time they reject jesus they reject jesus with the santeria when they have the ceremonies where they initiate people if anyone has been to cuba and you may see a lot of people in the streets dressed in white dancing but many times it's santeria uh initiation ceremonies and they kill pigeons and they kill roosters and they drink rum and all of that is so demonic and devilish but people some people just have it as culture and they go to church still and they see nothing wrong with that you know in some countries it's obia black magic voodoo all those things but you know these the, the people a lot the, the people who engage in these practices many times they are so tormented they are so tormented they cannot sleep at night they cannot they 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 don't know where to go some people need to get out get out of it and stop it and they don't know how to while others are comfortable in it they know no better life so they stay in it and they continue but they have no peace in their lives they have no peace whatsoever in their lives now any form of shedding blood whether it's human blood animal blood whether it's your own blood or someone else's blood all of that blood shedding jesus canceled that at the cross and so we should not be engaging in any kind of practice that 
causes us to shed blood. There are people who cut themselves. You know, some people have pacts with other people where they cut themselves. There are those, as you know, they kill the animals. Some people right now, right now they kill animals to, 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 as a form of cleansing. If they're moving into a new house, they kill, kill an animal, sprinkle the blood, say, not knowing that is witchcraft. It is witchcraft. And you are opening the door to demonic spirits in your life. When you do things like that, Jesus was the last shedding of any blood. Jesus, when Jesus shed his blood, he canceled all of those things. You don't need to shed any animal's blood to, for any form of purging or cleansing or sanctification. Jesus, when Jesus shed his blood, that was sanctification and purification for all things. And so when you want anything to be purified and sanctified now, all you have to do is to speak the word in the name of Jesus and it is done. It is cleansed. You are free. You are pure. You are sanctified. You don't need to do that anymore. And the Lord will pour out his wrath on people who continue to engage in those practices. Those shedding of blood was under the law. Jesus came and he canceled all of that. Amen. Jesus canceled all of that. You don't need to engage in that sort of act anymore. No, the, for the people who do not know Jesus. The people who do not believe in Jesus, yet you are tormented. You are tormented. You have nightmares. You, you, you cannot sleep. Your whole life is a mess. There is a way out and his name is Jesus. Jesus is the way out. Jesus can rid you of every torment, every, every evil spirit that comes to you whether day or night, every spirit that follows you and monitors you because of the acts that you have engaged in or, or are continually engaging in. But Jesus can deliver you and rid you of every tormenting witchcraft spirit that is upon your life. Whether it was sent upon you by someone or whether you caused it upon yourself, or whether it was generational, where it came down through your generation, you can be delivered from those spirits through Jesus Christ. All you need to do is to take it to him. You go, you bring it to him. If you don't believe that he's real, you can say, Jesus, I don't know if you're real. But can you reveal, if you are truly real, can you reveal yourself to me? Reveal your realness to me because I don't believe that you are real. If you are, can you? Jesus can do that for you. It takes that much. It just takes a little bit. Once he sees that desire, what he just wants to see that little interest in him. He can reveal himself to you and deliver you from every witchcraft spirit, from every witchcraft spell and curse and torment that you may be facing in your life. Amen. There are people who, the devil, people who are tied up in these things, especially a lot of people in Hollywood. The, where they have leaders that they work for where they are being threatened and they're afraid to leave but jesus can deliver you i promise you jesus can deliver you it doesn't matter what your situation is you can be delivered through jesus christ amen some people believe that it that uh <laughs> Yeah, some people believe that uh, um, if they 
if they well it is it is true that if you get out you know you're going to be torn yes the devil will torment you for a little while the devil will torment you when he sees that you have made that decision to not do this anymore to stop practicing witchcraft to separate yourself from witchcraft the devil the devil will make your life miserable for a little while, for a little while. But remember that there is no greater power than the power of God. So it doesn't matter what the devil might do. Eventually, the, it, eventually it will be over and you will be free. Amen. You cannot afford to continue to live a life of stagnation and lack and inhibition just because you know you are on the dark side there are a lot there are some people who are not practicing any form of witchcraft but because it it followed you from your through your generation your life is so much lesser than than what god uh means for, uh wants it to be you know the plan that god has for your life you're nowhere near that and you don't even know why because you don't even recognize that you have spirits like these, you know, inhibiting your, 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 your life. You don't know. And so because you don't know, you continue to live a, a substandard life. One in, you're living way below what you were really meant to, to be, you know, you're so much lesser, but you don't know. But I always say that everyone needs deliverance. And so some of you who believe that you are fine and deliverance is for some people and you don't have, there's no evil spirit in your life. Many times you're so wrong. Everyone needs deliverance at some point or another in their life. Everybody needs deliverance. Amen. Oh, now, right here in canada it is appalling it's not just canada i know it's happening in other countries too but witchcraft is being taught in schools there are universities or universities teaching teaching witchcraft witchcraft magic and occult traditions that's a course in university they have a course called Beyonce in university. Now, why should I send my child to university? Pay money, send my child to university to study, to do a study where I'm going to be engaged in research, researching Beyonce and the life of Beyonce. You see the type of control that the devil has over this world. Now we all know, for who doesn't know, sorry, you all know how demonic, how demonic Hollywood is. And of course, the type of practices that popular pop stars are into and Beyonce is one of them. Why would there be a course in a top university in Canada called Beyonce? Why is there a course called Poker 101 in university? Really? So the devil has, by the time, by the time, anybody who takes Poker 101, all those students are coming out as gamblers. You know, you take the course, automatically you're, you're going to want to go to the casino. So they're, 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 they're teaching you to become gamblers. And to practice witchcraft, there is a course called Gothic Horror. Why should you pay your child, pay, pay, pay university? Look at how much it costs to go to university for your child to go, pay, whether it's an elective or not, I don't know. But the very fact that the course is there called Gothic Horror. There is another course called Popular Potter where you will be studying the harry potter series or you know whatever it is you'll be studying regarding harry potter seriously oh my god this uh, this world is 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 gone but 
uh, parents, you have to be the ones to guide your children. And you cannot guide your children into the light if you are not in the light. If you are not a God-fearing parent serving the Lord, where you are knowledgeable of the devices of the devil, you will not be able to protect your children from these things. You won't be able to. And right now the devil, it, 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 it is like so extensive. The witchcraft is everywhere. Every second person knows about witchcraft in Canada. It is ridiculous. And, 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 and Jesus is not popular. Jesus is by no means popular here. And when they say God, you have to really check which God because, you know, it doesn't matter who they, they, they all say God, but no, they don't say Jesus. They believe some other thing, some other thing or creature or some other man, but the Jesus, they don't believe Jesus, the Christ. They don't believe in Jesus. And so we have to speak about these things and, and enlighten our children about these things and teach them and hold them grounded to Jesus Christ because when they get to that age where they think that they are old enough to make their decisions by themselves, in, in, this, in, in one second they're gone. They are taken away by the devil and his devices. They, they get... So if your child is not, is not grounded, grounded on the principles of the Lord, if your child does not know Jesus, if your child doesn't get an understanding of who the Lord is by seeking him, your child can be just taken away so easily. You have to protect them raise them on the principles of God. It is your responsibility as parents because when they go down that path, it is so hard to get them back. But who I, all, I just, I, I just want to encourage you and let you know that when God, whoever is meant to be with God, he will always bring them back. But if you can protect your child from going down that path, it would be so much better. It would be so much easier. Life would be way better. Because you cannot have a child engaging in witchcraft and then that child is in your house. You see the child acting differently and, and they're in a dark place and it's not easy to get them out of that place. So you have to be strong for your children. You have to ground yourself in the principles of the Lord so that you can protect your children from going down that path. Now, recently I watched, I'm just going to share this, the story of a video I watched. I watched it and then I've been doing the search, putting putting in the keywords that I thought to find it, and I cannot find it again. But this was a, a woman who from, she was a very, a little girl. Her father initiated her into witchcraft. And her whole life growing up, teenage, she's a witch, right up into her 20s. And she ran away. She's trying to get away from her father. And everywhere she moved to, that man would show up at the front door. And eventually she got a child. And when the child was growing up, when the child reached three years old, the same spirits that initiated her uh, through her dad, they came and told her that it's time to for the child to be initiated and she told that spirit no and she said no and the spirit was so angry that one night she heard her baby crying and that lady ran to the baby's room and 
toys were being thrown all over the room the spirits are throwing things all over the room and the child is screaming and the fan is spinning so fast she said she thought the fan was going to fall out of the ceiling and she grabbed her baby and she she she, she ran out of the room and she slept in a corner she just held her baby on the floor in a corner all night and that was where she slept because she decided that she's trying she wants to get rid of this thing but she doesn't know how to be free from this witchcraft thing that she's into she's been a witch her whole life and now this thing wants to take her child and so because she doesn't know how to protect her child from it she decided that she was going to commit suicide and she took the child to a babysitter one night and she said she took a razor blade and she drove a far distance, you know, to, 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 keep, to, to cut her, her wrists, I guess, and bleed to death. And while she was sitting in the car contemplating doing that, she just sat there and her hand just went to her side and right beside the car seat in the it, over in the side of between the seat and the middle there there was a little bible you know that little new testament bible that's just the new testament there was a tiny little bible over there and she said she bought that car from a drug dealer someone that she used to buy drugs from and that person was not a christian so she don't know how come he had a bible in his car and she took out and, and she bought that car from him a while and she never saw that little Bible over there, but she felt it down over there. I don't know, you know, how long she had the car, but the sinner's prayer was written at the back of that Bible and she said it and she felt a peace come over her and she drove back to get her baby and on her way back she just kept saying the prayer over and over. That's all she knew, the sinner's prayer. I just tell you that story to tell you that when God, when God says that you are for him, no devil, no devil can get you. Satan cannot kill you and God will, God will work it out and he will deliver you no matter what. And that woman says she went through so many courses of deliverance in order to be totally free. But if you can protect your child from going down that path in the first place, please do. Amen. It is a life of torment. It is a life of, of, of just, it's just too much. And a lot of people who are in it, they are unhappy, but you don't know. I, I know somebody right now that I heard that I know this person is a witch based on things that I have seen. I've seen this person with a ton load of witch books and I was talking to a friend recently and she told me, you know, Marion, I know when that girl got, she sold her soul. I know when it happened. I know when every, everything changed for her. And that is so sad because she, she knew that person before she became a witch. And it's all around us and we have to be careful. We have to be careful who we have as friends. These days, if you have no friend and Jesus is your only friend, all the better for you. Because some, the, the, some people get carried away so easily by friends, by people that they love and trusted and they never even knew what they were getting into. Amen. So I'm going to end here. I'm already gone. I could have gone so much more, but I just want to leave you with a scripture. Second Timothy chapter four, verse 18. And it says that my God shall rescue me from every evil attack and bring me home safely to his kingdom. I think I always say my, because I say to myself, so the Lord will rescue you no matter what witchcraft attack you may be under or whether you are the witch yourself. The Lord will rescue you 
but you have to go to him in repentance recognize and acknowledge what you are doing or and what's happening and repent and renounce separate yourself from witchcraft and watch god deliver you there is no spirit that is greater than the spirit of god it is a spirit of god that will deliver you god is all powerful almighty and there is no demonic spirit from hell that has dominion over you amen i hope that you were blessed and i will catch you in the next video